A slice of San Diego's artistic history has been languishing in boxes and crates, but now the murals and paintings from an old brewery in Barrio Logan are coming out of storage. The story of how this art was saved and how it will be restored is the focus of a two-part series by my two guests. Joining me are KPBS arts reporter Angela Carone and arts reporter for Voice of San Diego, Kelly Bennett. Angela, let's start out with the Aztec Brewery. How did art get inside there? Well, the brewery was a really popular spot in the 30s and 40s, and it had this tasting room attached to it that was called a Rathskeller, and there people could come and enjoy the beer, and they also came to see the interior. It was a small, almost chapel-like interior, very lavish, very much a piece of the time. People did decoration that way at that time. And it had stained glass windows and a painted ceiling, and it had these big grand chandeliers, iron chandeliers that hung from the ceiling. And a lot of the paintings depicted Aztec and Mayan imagery. The sort of signature piece of this very elaborate room was this large mural on the wall behind the bar, and it depicted an Aztec human human sacrifice. So you can imagine someone seeing just a photograph that they can see a photograph of them on our websites. It just was a very much like a temple almost. Kelly, who painted this art and are there any important works in there? The artist responsible for a lot of the art was named Jose Moya del Pino and he was sent from Spain. The King of Spain sent him to the States in um, the 20s to be this cultural emissary and to kind of inform a United States audience about what was being produced in Spain. By the time money ran out for his little tour, he started painting a lot of portraits and murals. And so when he got to San Diego and was painting in the Aztec Brewery, he was drawing on all of these different traditions that were popular at the time, both murals that were popular in the United States during the 30s, but also the Mexican mural movement, and drawing on this Aztec and Mayan symbolism. So when you think about the importance of the artwork, um, though there have been some suggestions that he was connected in various ways to different famous artists of the time, the importance is really about how did this fit in San Diego's history? What was this collection? What did it mean that it was a place where people could not only just go and look at these works, you know, maybe in a in a more traditional art setting, but could actually be immersed in them while they had, you know, beer after work one day. So who went there? Who went to the brewery to look at this art and to drink? And what eventually happened to the brewery and the art inside? Well, the people of the neighborhood went there for sure. I mean, the the folks of Barrio Logan, people who were working on the docks at the time and working in the tuna can, can, cannery industry um, also went there. And then people from all over San Diego went as well. People would have meetings there. Um, what happened to him is a whole different story. The brewery closed down in 1953, and the artwork, the Rathskeller was just boarded up, basically. And all of that artwork sat in that little Rathskeller for close to 30 years just collecting dust. Jump ahead to 1988, a new developer buys the property, decides he's going to raise it, demolish the whole thing. Just before the wrecking ball comes, a man named Salvador Torres sees a photograph, a vintage photograph of people standing in front of that mural that we talked about. He rushes over to see if the mural is still, still there. It is. He mobilizes his friends and family to save not just the mural, but all of the artwork in the Rathskeller. The media gets involved, they spread the word, and the city steps in. The city of San Diego steps in and takes ownership of the artwork with a promise to one day put it back in the neighborhood. So it's been in storage all this time. Why is it coming out now? Well, when the city accepted the donation, they said, you know, there's this project that we're really excited about happening in Barrio Logan. We'd love to put it in there once it's built. That project, the Mercado del Barrio, is just now being built in 2012. So that, the long-awaited project that that is, also then, you know, people started thinking, hey, what about that artwork that we have sitting in storage? It's been in Balboa Park, a lot of the big pieces of the murals, and then um, the smaller pieces and the chairs and the chandeliers and the stained glass windows and all of that has kind of moved around that collection from place to place, ending up now in a storage unit in El Cajon. So very quickly, where do things stand now? Uh, as the project is concerned, there's a restaurant in, the, in Mercado that the developers in the city are hoping to bring all of this stuff out of storage and insert it, install it back in the, in the restaurant there. And we have to close it here. Kelly, Angela, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thanks.